Welcome to the funeral. <laughs> What's going on, man? It's your boy McFly, the hardest working man in shoe tainment, pop tainment, entertainment, music tainment, tainment, tainment. I am the one and only. Um, if this is your first time over here in Atlanta, McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, that notification bell below, man. Become a frequent flyer. Join the winning team. Ah! We out here grinding. Current goal set, we're trying to hit 5K by December 31st. So if everybody sub up, man, we can go ahead and get that done. Um, you click the video, so I guess you want to hear my opinions on Lil Wayne's latest album, The Funeral. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get in here. We're going to talk about it. Uh, I'll let you know how I felt about it. <laughs> and um, we'll go from there. Um, starting off, i like to say that I am naturally a Lil Wayne fan. I have followed his career from uh, from the beginning un until now. I'm an avid Wayne head. I listen to a lot of Wayne's music. And in the past few years, you know, with him going through the whole cash money debacle and some other stuff, I kind of, I won't say stop listening to Wayne, but, you know, my viewpoint had changed um, a lot about Little Wayne and where his career was headed and what he was doing and it seemed that <clears throat> his main aim was to appeal to the next generation as opposed to the current generation which is um which is fine you know you have to remain relevant you have to do whatever you have to do to keep people streaming buying music you know so if that's what you got to do fine do it but um I won't say that I was fed up with Wayne um, I was satisfied with the Carter 5. It wasn't his best work. A lot of people hate on the Carter 5, but it's a lot of gems on that album if you really give it a chance. Um, I think a lot of people are really fed up with Wayne or don't know how to take Wayne or, you know, calling him crazy or whatever, but Lil Wayne's still Lil Wayne, man. And uh, I think on this funeral album, um, he proved it. It was good to see... Um, Wayne back in action, Wayne actually rapping, Wayne actually getting back to the bars and you know, not all that riff raff stuff that um, he was doing, um, which is which is pretty cool. Um, generalistically, man, I guess I'll take you through a couple waves here. First, we're gonna start off with the um, failures of this album as I pull this up on my phone. But um, it's a 24 song album, 24 tracks. Um, one of my biggest complaints was that it, it really had no direction. You didn't know where it was going. You didn't really know what was going on. It was just like a patchwork of songs. This this album kind of reminds me of like, I'd say like the songs, <laughs> the songs that didn't make the Carter Five, like the throwaway songs. You, anybody who listens to music know that artists record a ton of songs and they go through and chop it down to, you know, made the album. And I think that this album, a project, whatever you want to call it, is pretty much like the songs that didn't make it, as crazy as that sounds, or the songs that didn't make it but are still worthy to be put out, like something um, along those lines. But the biggest failures on this album, if you're gonna listen to this album after watching this video, do not, and I repeat, do not listen to the following songs. Do not listen to Mamma Mia. Do not listen to Get Out of My Head. Do not listen to Bastard or Satan's Kid, whatever they want to title it. Do not listen to Bing James and do not listen to Sights and Silences. You know, when, um, I'll run it down again, just in case you missed it. Mama Mia, Get Out of My Head, Bastard, Bing James, and Sights and Silences. You can skip all that. Just erase it all the way off the album. You know, I come from a time where people gave you 20 song albums, and you may have a couple skits or something in there, but they would ride beginning to the end. That's currently not the climate present day. I don't know of very many artists who are dropping complete albums or total works it seems like in you know 2020 it's all about who's who's got the most singles who's got the singles popping get your singles popping nobody's really worried about your overall album it's kind of what it seems like the next generation can't really sit still for an hour so they're not about to listen to your whole album for an hour they're gonna skim it 
But I was like, man, he got 24 songs. He's got to be blanking on this thing or it's gonna be the worst album that I ever heard in my life. Um, but it wasn't. I honestly thought that the album was favorable. Um, I actually enjoyed listening to it. But um, it's kind of like you have your, your higher tiered songs, which we'll get to in a minute. You have your highlights, your higher tiered songs. Then you had a trash, which I just named. You know, you got your top, you got your bottom. And then the middle, it's kind of like, it's like a bunch of, it's like a bunch of filler, a bunch of just average kind of songs. Like they're not terrible, they're not trash. They're just like, songs they're just there they don't move you any type of way you can sit there you can listen to it you can vibe to it or whatever but it's not like top or bottom it's just there you got a lot I call it I call it music purgatory you got a lot of purgatory songs in there songs that didn't go to heaven to hell they just stuck <laughs> they just stuck in between you know for example, the um, I Do It song with Big Sean and Lil Baby, I feel like Lil Wayne or Big Sean did not show up on that song and Baby was forced to carry that song by itself. Um, on Bing James, I feel like Wayne didn't show up and J-Rock was kind of struggling with the beat, but J-Rock beat Wayne on that one, um, for sure. I mean, it's like crazy. So it's like, the songs aren't terrible. You know, they've got decent beats to beach ride. You can you can let that thing jump. But at the same time, it's not like, okay, a lot of these songs wowed me because a lot of these songs didn't. But um, yeah. Yeah, so as far as the highlights go, let me hop over here to my highlights. Boom. Top five songs that I picked off of this album. My personal favorites, feel free to disagree below in the comments. Also, let me know how you felt about Wayne's album. Let me know, did you lick it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you listen to it? Are you done with Wayne? You over it? You don't wanna hear nothing else from Wabbadee, Wabbadee, Wicked, Wabbadee, Wabbadee. You don't wanna hear that anymore? What's your favorite Lil Wayne album? Um, I was gonna do this video live, but um, I did. I just wanted to test run and see how it go for the first time around. Um, we got the Eminem review coming up later this week, so be sure to tune in for that. But top five from The Funeral. Uh, my favorite song off this album is Piano Trap. That thing is a banger. I've been bumping that back to back to back to back to back to back to back for days. Um, the Funeral, of course, the intro, killed that. Um, Mahogany, that was dope. Um, Not Me. That song was dope too, and um, Harden. So we got Piano Trap, The Funeral, Mahogany, Not Me, and um, Harden as my top five. Now there's other songs on this album that I do rock with, um, but they didn't make the um, they didn't make the top five. So um, a couple of those just to name them. I guess these would be the upper echelon songs, not in the top five. Not in the bottom five, but better than the Purgatory songs. Um, I'd have to go with Ball Hard featuring Lil Twist. That joint's a banger. Um, I Don't Sleep with Take Off. That joint's a banger. Um, Wild Dogs, I rock with that. And where'd that song go with 2 Chains? Uh, you Know You Know with 2 Chains. Those, um, decent songs too, man. For sure, they not they wasn't top five, but they wasn't bottom tier either. So just right there, off of that, you got nine songs right there. But the problem is, it's twenty four songs on the album. It's twenty four songs. I think um, I was really, I won't say impressed, but I was really surprised. Like last year when Kanye started shortening down them albums to like seven songs, eight songs, maybe ten songs or less. I think a lot of people need to stick with that formula. You, you leave a lot less room for error when you put less songs on your album. Um, for no reason should the funeral have been a 24 song album. That should have been 10 to 12 and got up out of there. With the songs, with the nine songs I just named, you throw in a couple of radio bangers or a couple of songs for the women, you put that out, platinum. Platinum, I mean, without a doubt. You got your features, you got your bangers, you got your club songs, you got your little sensitive songs or whatever, 
and boom, you're done with that. But instead, you drug it all the way down to 24 songs and it didn't need to be down there. You could have left a lot of that out. Most importantly, that bottom five that I named earlier, you could have left all that off of there. You shouldn't even recorded that. Whoever was like, yeah, man, we doing this? Should have been like, nah, bro, we not doing that. But <laughs> as far as a uh, general rating of the uh, Funeral album, I gave it a 2.8 out of five stars. 2.8 out of five, I mean, if you wanna round it up, three out of five, but 2.8 in my mind makes a difference. Um, this this could have been a dope Wayne album. Um, I don't know who does the track listings for this or who did the track listing for this, but had these songs been arranged a little differently, like, boom, this, this would have been an instant banger. You rearrange the tracks, you drop maybe <clears throat> seven of them, cut out seven songs off the album, drop it, rearrange how you laid them out because the layout is kind of the problem. You you turn the album on, <clears throat> it's, you know, it's banging. He hit you with the funeral. You were like, okay, cool. Then he came at you with Mahogany. you like, all right, boom, we rocking. We two songs in, we good. And then it takes like this drastic turn in the mediocrity and it's like, God, what happened? So by the time, by the time you get back to another dope song, it's been a minute. You know, you you done forgot about how how it started. Like for example, you got Funeral Mahogany. You come into Mama Mia, one of the worst songs. Period. Then you got I Do It, which is pretty much it was it was weak. Big Sean and Wayne did not hold their weight on that. Then you got Dreams, which is alright. Stop playing with me is alright. Then you got Clap For Him, that's a club song, which is, I wasn't feeling it. I mean, the beat and all, I understand it's a club twerking song or whatever, and the one verse that he did spit on that, the verse was tight, but one tight verse don't make up for the whole song, you know, so. Then Bing James, that was weak. Then you get to Not Me, that joint's off the chain. Trust nobody, cool, know you know, cool. Wild Dogs, cool, hard and cool. I don't sleep, cool. Then Sights and Silences, like they build you all the way back up. You got that fall off after the second song. So one and two, you banging. It don't pick back up. <laughs> That's kinda sad, man. It don't pick back up until song number nine. You could have scrapped that whole three through eight. You could just threw that out. It was boom. Don't even have to have it. Then you hit them with Not Me. That thing is dope. You got Trust Nobody. That song is decent. You got Know You Know with 2 Chains. That song is decent. Wild Hogs. That song is decent. Harden. That song is decent. I Don't Sleep with Takeoff. That song's a banger. Then you kill it with Sight and Silences. You should have just eh, eradicated that out of there. Uh, ball hard with little twists is dope. So you try to bring them back in, then you kill them again with bastard Satan kid and get out of my head with XXX Tentacion on it. And it's like, man, you just build it up to kill me again, and then you light them up with a uh, piano trap and line them up. Them two songs, bangers. But then you finish out the album last four, pretty weak. I mean, it's a dope verse on Wayne's World, but. OT Genesis, that was an embarrassment. Never mind. Nah. Dark Side Wayne was rapping a little bit, but it's still, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't enough. But if you could take out of all of this, all the songs that I like off of this album, and pardon me if I'm talking too much, bro, but I talk. It's what I do. Hopefully, we can get this live and I uh, get some people up here so it's not just my opinion. It, you know, it's other people's opinion too. Also, let me know if you if you agree with me. So currently, off of this album, I like one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 out of the 24 songs, that's basically half the album. And while most people would be like, man, that Wayne is trash, and yada, 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 I don't wanna hear it. It's got 11 dope songs on it out of 24, man. 
how many people you know dropping albums that's got 11, 11 dope songs on it? Like, be honest, in 2020, who's dropping 11 hot songs? That don't make up for the songs that aren't hot. You know, it, he's still, you know, Wayne still put this project out. You know, we're not, we not gonna skip over that. But, it's 11 decent songs on the album, man. 11. But I understand that maybe a lot of people didn't get through it. Maybe a lot of people didn't make it. Once you get that first gap, of that, of, that, of that desert, once you get that first gap of that Reggie, bro, it's like, mm, and I think that's where a lot of people fell off at. Me personally, when I first get an album, I get the album, um, I put it on, I put it on my, my little stereo system or whatever, let it ride, boom. Beginning to end, don't skip no songs, even the trash songs, I let them ride, cause I don't wanna miss nothing. Then when I'm done with that, I hop in the whip, and I listen to the album in the whip, because in-house radio and in-car radio, it sounds different, you know, and I rate them both. So that's how I get my ratings personally. I don't know what other people do. I don't know what your ritual is. I'm just telling you. But for anybody wanting it, I'd say, um, I feel like you should still listen to it. If you want to hear Wayne truly spitting some of his best bars in, in recent years. Like the man is dropping some lyrical gems on this thing. It just don't have no focus, no plot, no purpose. It's just a bunch of songs. It's just like, you like, y'all remember back in the day when like Wayne used to drop them dedications and the squad mixtapes and, and all that stuff from, from back in the day. It, it, it reminds me of that. It reminds me of, of, of a Wayne mixtape, like something he just put out. Like, let's just throw it out there because people don't do mixtapes like that anymore. So instead of, you know, dropping another mixtape, you just call it an album and put it out. You know, that's just kind of how, how I felt. That's the feeling that it gave me. It didn't give me album Wayne. It didn't give me the Carter Wayne. It didn't give me the Carter 2 Wayne or the Carter 3 Wayne. You know, or Rebirth Wayne, or I Am Not a Human Being, you know, whatever. That Wayne, it, it's not album Wayne. It's like mixtape Lil Wayne. It definitely had a mixtape-ish feel to it, is the point that I'm trying to make. So I don't know if it was an official album or not, but I kind of think that Eminem and Wayne are kind of like throwing shots at each other. You know, they've always had their little this, that going on a little petty back and forth that nobody really want to talk about because you come out with uh, music to be murdered by now it's a funeral uh, you know all these death titles and like what's what's really going on bro it's it's something there man and it, i'll probably expound on that in another video but it is what it is but to sum this all up and to wrap this all together i gave the funeral 2.8 out of 5 it's not terrible. There are some bangers. There are some highlights. There is definitely some bars being dropped. But at the same time, it's not his best work. The album is way too long, way longer than it should have been. A lot of wasted space on songs that probably shouldn't even be recorded. And I could be tripping. Maybe some other people actually like them songs, you know, but I don't. I think they're high guys. I'm just being real. But um, it is what it is, man. Dwayne, Lil Wayne Carter, The Funeral. That's how I felt about it. <laughs> Until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I'll holler at you.